All new at 5, a new 6 investigation that triggered the call to outlaw gas pump manipulators faces another committee vote in Tallahassee. The identical House version of the bill faces its first committee test tomorrow. New 6 investigator Mike Holfeld, he's been following every development with this and has the latest. Are these things being built right now as we speak? Yes. They've evolved from this to this. Gas pump manipulators. Tools used to steal diesel fuel by altering the price. How much money are we talking about? I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. New 6 exclusive reporting of the gas pump pirating has grabbed the attention of state lawmakers. This exclusive video shows how quickly thieves can access gas pumps and install the devices in seconds. Many times, this is happening in broad daylight. Is the device we're looking at right now, is that legal? It's not illegal. The response? Senate Bill 1150. I'm so excited that it got put into this bill. The bill, sponsored by Republican State Senator Blase Angolia and crafted by Law Enforcement Lieutenant Corey Kissinger of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, FDAX, calls for penalties for anyone installing any device for the purpose of fraudulently altering, manipulating, or interrupting a retail fuel dispenser from standard operation. The penalties range to a maximum second-degree felony. Senate Bill 150 reported favorably. Thank you. I'm looking forward to helping move this along through all the committees. State Senator Linda Stewart met with FDAX and Orlando Secret Service agents for a briefing on the device and how the gas is filled into these bladders. The meeting was coordinated by News 6. I want to thank you and, and everybody for bringing it to our attention because had you not done that, we would not be where we are today. How important is this legislation that we have this session? It's a game changer at this point. Senior Special Agent Roger Fuentes is with the Orlando Secret Service. Now you lock the door up. Fuentes leads a task force of local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies to track down gas thieves. Can you give us any comment? And confiscate the devices. How is this thing being built? It's word of mouth and kind of an apprentice system. Someone shows somebody else, you show somebody else, you show somebody else. So is it an assembly line? I'd say more like a homegrown factory. If the bill is signed into law, it will go into effect July 1st. Investigators tell me this will be the weapon they need to hold these thieves accountable. Mike Hofeld, Getting Results, News 6.